Architecture is something we see every day. Uh, you live in architecture, it's just something surrounds us. But we may have never thought about why a certain building has been built a certain way. The stories behind the people and the buildings and how the built environment has played a role in history, especially across regions and different cultures, are really fascinating to me. One idea that ties my research projects together is looking at architecture as a way for people from different cultures to communicate. One of my current research projects is on Chinese architecture in the United States. So I became interested in how one architecture tradition can be localized in a different culture. Private gardens are the opposite of the traditional you know, say this palatial architecture or the official architecture. Everything should not be symmetrical, everything should be hiding. That is like the yin and yang of Chinese architecture. These are the two ends uh, for the whole philosophy. I grew up in Shanghai, but I spent the last 16, 17 years in the United States. When I finally came back and re-established my life here, I found that the city is actually really a new city to me. Another reason I like to uh, visit Yuyuan Garden uh, because its location is in the center city of Shanghai. So when you are in the garden, when you look around, you actually can see different kind of like a skyscraper and the skyline of Shanghai. I think the contrast between the lines and the colors and the textures create a really amazing visual experience for people in the Yuan Garden. The most attractive thing about NYU Shanghai is that there's so little barrier between disciplines here. So stay curious and explore the unknown world.